I said I would show you one of the tutorials and I will. Let's have some fun. So what I'm going to do here is, and of course I had to reboot, so I've lost my browser and I need my browser. It has a page open that I needed. So uh, there it goes, there it is, it's opening up now. So what I've got is, you're gonna see where I'm working. Right, let me go full screen with that, there we are. Right, I'm gonna show you the tutorial. As I said, it, there's no video stuff with it, but I have here camera layers, and this is teaching you how the layers work. And all I've got to do is say, you can see there's a before and an after. And I'm gonna say begin tutorial, and you can see what you've got here. It has all the usual interface, but at the very bottom it says step one. And what it's doing is showing you how you can create this image, the finished product. It's actually going to take you through it step by step. Now I'm not particularly concerned about that at all. What I'm concerned about is getting a picture in there because I don't have a picture anywhere that I could use for this. I don't. So I'm going to show you how I can do this. So I'm going to follow up through a little bit. It's saying add an empty layer. So I'm going to do that. But do I want an empty layer? Well, no, I need something on it. So I'm going to say photo layer. But I don't want to pull it through from Creative Cloud because I, mean, I can't put it on the bird, can I? I don't have a suitable image there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the camera. So what I'm going to do here is show you my desk. So I'm going to say camera, use the camera. And here's my desk. There's my keyboard. Here's where I'm working with my iPad. And look what I've got up here. Oh, George Clooney just happens to be sat there. He'll do nicely. So... All I'm going to do is just take a picture of my monitor. There we are. And I'm going to choose to use that one. Right, let's have some fun with George. Ah. So I have my image. It's put my image on the top of it. I would need to tidy this up, obviously. I, I've got uh, edges of my monitor and stuff. But for demo purposes, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to put him there. Uh, and I'm going to... I think I'd lose a little bit too much, I think, if I don't move him down a little bit. So I will move him down a little bit. There we go. And OK to that. Now, obviously, I've lost the hat at that point. Where's the hat gone? What I've got in my layers, of course, is that uh, the, the layer with the photo I've just taken is at the top. So I'm going to move it down. If I move it there, you can see it's just under the eye patch. If I move it under there, you can see there's the hat. And all I've got to do now is make it all work together. And it's really easy. So I'm going to leave George at the back, sitting there smiling nicely. And I'm going to go to the layer with the pirate's hat on it. And what I need to do with it is transform it. So I have a transform option, which is that button at the top. And once I do that, it has selected the hat and I can move it around. The first thing I need to do with it is get it just about right, but it's not big enough. So I need to make the hat a little bit bigger. So it sits nicely on his head, as good as I can do it there. That's not too bad. So just over his ear a fraction. That's about right. And I could, of course, rotate that if I wanted. You've seen me do some rotations. So uh, that's a nice jaunty angle, but slightly over the ear. So that's not too bad. Once I'm happy with that, I can OK it. And then I'm going to move on to the eye patch layer. And now I need to work with that. I need to transform that as well. So I'm going to tap the transform again at the top. And now it's got the eye patch. And I'm going to try and select the middle of it and move it. And what's happening is it's making it a little bit bigger. That's it. I need it about there. There we go. Poor George. And again, I could rotate that to get it just about right. That looks about right. And OK that. And the R's looking pretty good. The only thing I really need to do is it looks like it's stuck in midair. And I could do with adding to it the strings that would hold that on. And I can do that as well. I'm going to add a new empty layer. So done there. And I'm going to put that layer below the eye patch layer which means as I draw on it, it will go behind the eye patch. And then all I need to do is to go and choose a tool. So I'm going to choose the paint tool, which is the um, one I've got here. And I need to choose the colour. 
Well, black would work well, so I'm OK with that. And then I need to choose the brush size. And how I do that, there's two things that I can change. I can change the size of it in here. So as I drag, it makes the brush bigger or smaller. Now, I only need it quite small. All I'm drawing is some string. And then I can alter whether it's a very soft brush like that or whether it's a very hard brush like that at the other end. And then I can change the flow and the opacity. So very similar again to desktop Photoshop. So once I've got that, all I then need to do is to go onto my image and just draw that on. So don't even have to be very precise with that. There we go. In fact, that one's not too good, is it? Let me put that on there. That's better. There he is. And uh, I've gone a little bit too far there. But what I'm going to do with that, to cover that up, if I turn the hat off, you can see what happens. You can see that line there. But if I move the hat so the hat is on the top, then it covers the whole thing up and it all sits nicely together. So what I do need to do looking at that is go and get the erase tool and change that slightly so it's a little bit smaller and just lose the end over there. And that's the wrong layer. So let me undo that. It is the one with the string on, which is there and just lose that little bit there. And there it is. What have I done to George? So you can do an awful lot with these applications. That was literally just the tip of the iceberg. I can think of lots more fun demos that we will no doubt revisit in the new year. But for now, I am going to go back to my slides and wrap up.